receiving core, and you mentioned it. So this is from Marcus Mosier. Most games with 50-plus yards receiving this season. So Travis Kelsey and Stefan Diggs tied for one at, um, at 11 each. Donovan Peoples-Jones is tied for four uh, with eight of them. And Amari Cooper is tied for fifth with seven of them. And keep in mind, that doesn't factor in David Njoku, who's been beat up a little bit. Um, so there is a variety of weapons, even in the pass game, that Deshaun yeah. Watson has. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we knew what Amari Cooper was going to be when we traded for him. DPJ has shown flashes the first couple of years, and you just thought maybe with uh, elevated QB play, you finally get to get the untapped potential of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And I think we've seen that this year. He's been consist consistent throughout the year. He's got a career high in receptions with five games to go. He's a career high with receiving yards. He's only got one touchdown, but I think he's been great. And, you know, he's like Corey mentioned in the last segment, he's on pace for almost a thousand yards. Um, he's been great in the special teams, which I think has been an added boost to him. I think Peoples Jones is in line for a contract extension this offseason. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much the Browns are willing to pay him, but I would try to keep him around. You know, you have Cooper on the books for the next couple of years. The rest of the wide receiver room is very shaky. I would try to lock down Peoples Jones, who's in a contract year next year. Uh, 10 to 12 million would be what I would try to offer him, but I think the Browns need to find a way to keep him around. Yeah, I, I would agree. He has um, he has played his way into being an important part uh, moving forward.